this is a very unique project because the location is very, very special. It's between River Tay and the city. It's a sitting on the border. Before BND and D as a project started, the this site, the waterfront area, was occupied by typical industrial buildings. And uh, those buildings uh, separated city and waterfront. I think this is a very stressful for the city. And uh, by having this building as a, as a city as a, uh, and as water as a, was reconnected, and uh, I think the, the, the connection is very important for city because culture in Dundee is a, uh, and, uh, and ocean is basically one thing. And then the, the, this, the new building, the end of Dundee, can change the city and can change the life of people. And I, it's, it's very important for the city. We uh, got a big hint from a sea cliff uh, from north of Scotland and uh, we tried to achieve that kind of organic as uh, a character. I want to make building much softer than modernism building and then uh, I learned many things from nature itself. Uh, instead of making a uh, big solid wall, as a uh, uh, I w want to uh, cover the building small by small particles, and uh, particles is creating the beautiful shadow between them, and also the, the, sh uh, the shadows and the light is constantly changing. It uh, depends on change of light, and then the particle is a kind of sensor of nature. For, uh, for this VN and Dundee, the, this central space is the uh, most important space. I, I try to make as soft and warm atmosphere as possible as can because as a, I, I designed this building as a living room for the city. In 20th century, the museum was the big box for art. And the art was the protagonist of museum. But as a, as a, for our period, for our as a, as a life, as a, as a, as a community itself, people itself should be the protagonist of museum.